In the life cycle of an Excel Power Pivot model, or even an Excel Power Pivot professional, a key milestone is when you start considering one of the server options, SharePoint, SSA Stabler, Power BI. Going the server route has several advantages. One of the key ones is the ability to separate the model from the reports. With Excel Power Pivot, the model and the report live in the same file together. As you keep adding more reports, you add more sheets with pivot tables, maybe Power View sheets, and it gets really unwieldy really quick. With the server option, you can upload your Excel Power Pivot models up to SharePoint or SSA Establer and create multiple separate but connected reports. Now these can be created using a tool of a choice. These can be Excel workbooks, can be Power View, Power View on SharePoint, SSRS, or really any other tool that can connect to a cube. Your model can be 10 megabytes or 100 gigabytes or more. Your reports are still going to be thin, probably even in kilobytes. SharePoint is indeed a popular option. If you do have SharePoint, click here to jump ahead and see how you can use SharePoint to separate the model from the reports. However, if your server options are still open, take a close look at SSAS tabular. I tend to favor it because it is within the reach of an Excel user of a business group. They can very likely set up an SSAS tabular server with little or no help from IT. Whereas for SharePoint, likely there's going to be heavy IT involvement and there's going to be a lengthier time frame. So let's get started. In less than 30 minutes, I will set up an SSAS tabular server, upload an Excel Power Pivot workbook and create thin reports connected to our model. All right, so I'm going to speed through the first part where I'm installing the SSAS tabular server. And we're going to play this at 10x speed. You can click the button on, on YouTube to skip through this part and continue on to where I've installed the server and I'm showing how you can create reports connected to that model. All right, so we're back at regular speed. We have our SSAS server set up, and now uh, we're gonna walk through how we can upload an Excel workbook with a Power Pivot model inside it onto our SSAS tabular server. All right, so there we go, that's our workbook. You can see just, you know, uh, a Power Pivot model, lots of tables, reports, measures. Yep, and we're gonna load it all up into SSAS tabular and it pretty much retains everything all your relationships tables connections measures certainly there we go you can notice it's about four megs in size so yep you right click restore from power pivot and just specify the path name you can also type it in in the boxes below selected path and file name just type in the database name. This is an SSAS database. And again, you can kind of select the default for uh, uh, where the data files should reside. And that's it, you hit OK. This takes a few seconds, so we're gonna go up to 10x speed again. All right, it's done, so we're back at regular speed. And if I refresh here, I can see that my database, SSAS database has been created. And now let's go over to Excel and create a thin report. 
a report connected to our model, but separate. All right, no, not there. Uh, I need to go to data and then say I want to connect to get external data, other sources, and analysis services. That's what SSAS stands for. There we go. Uh, type in the server name. And now if you have multiple models, you can select which one you want to connect to. And if you have PowerView, you will see uh, that if you have PowerView enabled, you will also see that option up here. But for now, I'm just going to do a regular uh, pivot table. And this list looks slightly different, but don't let that put you off. All it's doing is it's separating the measures from the attributes. But you can still drag and drop and pretty easily build a pivot. I'm just going to build a really quick pivot to show you that, yep, it's connected to the model. It has everything available. And there we go. I think I'll go ahead and save it. All right, give it a new name. And, and really, you don't need that Excel file anymore that, you know, you see it here on the screen, but this one is connecting to SSAS tabular. It's, it doesn't know anything about the Excel file. And now if you go over to the new report file that we saved, you can see it's just 16 kilobytes. Um, so yeah, thin report connected to the server. Now the model lives on SSAS tabular. Uh, of course, you can refresh it there and so forth. So folks, uh, there you go. In less than 30 minutes, we set up an SSAS tabular server, uploaded an Excel Power Pivot model, and created a thin report connected to model. So folks, click here to watch our other videos on SSAS tabular and click on this link to subscribe to our channel.